Hey guys, uh, so let's just go over uh, a few things, just talk about uh, this setup very quick. Um, I don't think it's worth going over everything because it's a little too much and just too many nodes and connections, but you know, you're gonna have this setup to play with and um, just you have to create your own passes uh, because this is a part of a project I'm working on. So, um, but mainly, um, so like these are the passes I rendered. Uh, beauty pass, uh, uh, mask, z depth, and uh, a wireframe. If you have a tune shader, uh, you know, it might work better, but uh, this one works too. Um, it's just a wireframe. Uh, so basically, everything's uh, coming from here. I'm, I'm uh, defining what frame I want to work with uh, because this is a full sequence. And so this section um, uh, is responsible to create a base image based on my prompt, my, uh, my beauty pass, and my uh, uh, basic reference image that uh, comes from uh, IP adapter uh, right here. So after this first pass, uh, you can have more control over the image and uh, by breaking it down into a smaller components and uh, have a separate uh, setup for each section. So the next part is for the car only and uh, so this section right here does uh, nothing but the, but the car and I'm using the mask, uh, the red channel uh, of my mask and uh, a more descriptive uh, separate prompt for this and a control net. Um, just uh, the image comes uh, from the wireframe. And uh, I'm running this, uh, the Dino is set at 0.65 because I'm not replacing the, the original image uh, completely. So the next pass uh, only works on the background and uh, it's coming from the, the green channel, this area and um, just using a, this prompt, New York City Cinematic Film Grain Portrait 400 um, at 65%. So let's see if I just crank it up all the way to one. Just run this. Let's see. Okay, that's terrible. Okay, let's just change it again. I'm gonna add. I'm gonna remove this. Uh, by the way, you can uh, use the bracket. Uh, if you want to put emphasis on a part of a prompt, you can put that uh, phrase inside of a bracket and add a number to define the intensity of it. Yeah, this is good. Let's just go with this for now. So now it's working on a on the ground, and uh, my prompt is only um, snow, and uh, it's just uh, at fifty five percent. So yeah, it adds a little texture, more 
details, yeah, I mean, this is good. It's pretty much the final. And I'm saving the image here, and this is my just a simple setup to upscale. Um, only by 50%. Yeah, that should do it. Okay, let's just go over this uh, IP adapter setup and um, just want to show you uh, what is what it does and how it's affecting the image. Uh, let's just pick a different photo. So I'm going to use this one and this is pretty much the composition at the center of the image. So I'm going to change this to the to center and uh, keep everything else the same. I'm just gonna add, put this at 8.8. .8. Okay, let's see what we got. All right, so this is what I got. Still processing the this is the background. Let me just cancel this, and I want to try it one more time. Let me just change it. Let me change it to hold on. Maybe. This. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but uh, left. Yeah, it's gonna be like bad. Yeah, it's gonna crop it like that. Yeah, there you go. So now you see how these uh, separate components can change your design drastically, but um, also, you know, at the same time, you have control over everything. And you can change whatever you want, um, and you can art direct your you know project properly. There you go. It's pretty cool. It's a nice uh, out of focus background. Looks like film. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, you can leave your questions in a comment section and let me know what you guys uh, think about this whole like workflow and you know, this whole process. Uh, still working on the animation part. Uh, I'm going to improve it a little bit and uh, we're going to talk about that one too in the next one. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.